I will present you two portlets designed for U-Mobile and U-Portal 4, developed by the University Pierre and Marie Curie in France. Both portlets allow 2,500 students of medicine to watch their course in video on their computer, tablet or smartphone. These developments use components that meet the category A of the third-party licenses list of JASIG, and they make full use of the JavaScript library included in uPortal 4, such jQuery and jQuery Mobile. These portlets can also be easily translated because all the messages on each screen can be changed by a single configuration file. The first portlet is called Video Live. It allows to watch the live video lecture on computer and mobile phone. This portlet can also be used to broadcast video of special events or conferences. Let's see the mobile view of Video Live, which is quite simple in design. The first state of the service is initializing the connection to the server video and the automatic search of live video. When there is no live video, after 10 seconds the portlet changes of state and display no live video for the moment. But it will request every 10 seconds in JSONP, JSON with padding, the servers to see if there is a live on air or not. You can see the countdown for the automatic search. And when there is a live on air, the portlet display the video. Like this. During the broadcast of the video, the portlet asks every 30 seconds the video server whether the video is still on air or not. And when the live stops, the video automatically stops, and the process of searching begins once again every 10 seconds, and so on. When a live video is finished, it is automatically added in another portlet called Video Archives. This portlet allows the student to watch on demand their video lecture. The two portlets receive notification. So, when there is a live or a new video, a user can see a little bubble that notifies him that there is something new in the portlet. This is the mobile view of video archives. Here you can choose which period you want to see. In this screen there is also notification by period. In this screen you choose which lecture you want. Each lecture has a title, a number, a date and a picture. And here you can watch the video. It is real-time streaming video of the differences of YouTube video. So, you can do this. Let's see the desktop view of the portlets. For video live, it's quite simple, it's the same view. But the desktop view of video archives is more complex. In the Video On Demand portlet, a user can classify video by title, by date. Tapping text in the search field, he can search by title, by date. There is at the bottom a pager when there are too many videos. A user can watch the video embedded in the page like this.
He can also see it with his own player, such QuickTime or VLC. And he can save the video in MP4 or MP3 on his computer, like a podcast. Let's see a few funny things with these portlets. The two portlets interact each other when they are in the same tab. When a user is watching an on-demand video, he don't want to be disturbed by a live video. So open a video like this. Change the state of the video live. You can see through the transparency of the overlay that video live is stopped by video archives. It is written in video live. You are watching another video. Automatic search of live video is stopped. And when you leave the video on demand, the search restarts in video live. And the last funny thing is when you change the theme of the portal, the color of video archives change according to the theme.